Good day, YouTubers. Um, today brings a bit of an update for the Merida uh, Big Nine Limited uh, 29 Hardtail uh, with the addition of uh, some new hoops. Um, now these uh, these hoop, new hoops are Chinese carbon um, asymmetric uh, wheels uh, running uh, full tubeless and uh, with DT uh, Swiss 350 hubs. Of course, those hubs are uh, very genuine uh, DT Swiss. I must apologise for the wind at the moment, um, but this is um, exactly post-ride at this point, and, uh, or first ride, and these are my, um, my very first initial impressions of the, uh, the wheels themselves, um, what I've been supplied, and uh, I will update as I go along as to how they go. Now, today... We rode uh, a couple of uh, pretty rocky sections, um, some decent square edge hits. Um, I am in the back tyre running what I call Ghetto Core, which is um, kind of like a Cush Core but homemade version of it, uh, whereby what I'm using is tubes of uh, a tube of um, closed cell foam, which um, I join together using a epoxy that uh, is normally used for uh, pull liners. Uh, and that seals, that um, glues within five minutes and uh, doesn't let go, which is absolutely fantastic. So we'll have a bit of a, a closer look at them. Now, I did mention that these are um, uh, an asymmetric rim, which means that um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to pick it up, but the spokes on the rim, you should be able to see it nicely there. You'll see a offset to one side. So what this allows is that the uh, spoke tension can be... Um, equalized between the drive and non-drive side of the wheel uh, creating of course a stronger rim and uh, less likely to uh, buckle with um, lateral hit. Uh, as you can see DT 350 hubs running the um, 54 ratchet. I'll try and spin up a back wheel with one hand in a minute. There's our front. Um, also asymmetric uh, on the front as well too. Um, and as you can see, um, that's also because of the slightly wider on the braking side than it is on the, um, the non-braking side. So it allows it to uh, centre the rim quite nicely and build, a, of course, a stronger rim. Now these rims are, um, they are 24mm deep and 30mm uh, wide. Uh, 24 on the internal. They're a 550 gram wheel set uh, with uh, no valves in and uh, no um, tape in there either. Um, you could have gone lighter, could have got it all the way down to about 1200 grams, but um, I took a middle ground with these particular rims and went for a combination of light and also maintaining strength as well. Um, they're a nice stiff rim. Um, they're not an uncomfortable rim, first right impression. Uh, the only down point that I can um, pick at this point is the supplied valves, tubeless valves. Uh, throw them in the bin. They're, they're coming straight off. Um, I've got an, uh, just brought a new set of high quality rim, um, uh, valve, uh, valve stems uh, I'll post them up as to what I'm using um, but I've used them on my other two sets of wheels uh, it's kind of one of those things you pop them in there and you forget what they're called uh, because you, you never take them out again uh, these are just terrible when we we're putting them in there I was suspect of them but I thought no we'll give them a go we'll use them I think the brand on it might be GUB or something like that but it, it's a cheaper Chinese one uh, it doesn't go with this sort of quality of rim um, the rim, uh, these are from um, a company called Kovas. Uh, excellent communication, absolutely on point. Doesn't matter when I sent them an email with a question uh, or they sent me back some advice. Uh, they were always on point, almost 24 7. Um, you know, I even went across the other side of the world at one stage and I was over in the um, uh, US and they were still responding. Uh, at all hours of the day and night to me so I can't complain that was really good and gave great confidence 
uh, in the uh, quality of the, the rim itself. So um, the one we had the most problems with, of course, is the rear. Um, it just leaks continually. You can see that um, the sealant is uh, still bubbling out there at just a fraction. Um, to get through the ride today, basically had to, um, kept freezing it by pumping in CO2 and freezing the sealant around it, which um, you know, four cartridges later got us uh, through the ride. Um, it will seal, but any movement of that stem, it just opens it back up again. It just doesn't sit inside the valley of the rim um, very well at all. But that's fairly minor. Um, the performance of the rim, I was very impressed with. Uh, in the corners, I definitely felt that um, it was a lot stiffer laterally uh, and gave more confidence um, definitely when, when cornering. Um, of course, I run the uh, what I call the ghetto cush core, as I said, closed core, closed cell foam tube, uh, joined together, stretched onto the rim. Um, I still have uh, about that much of a valley in this part of the rim here before you're actually hitting the um, the closed cell foam itself. The beauty of this particular setup is that when I get a square edge hit, um, it really pops out the side. It's, as I said, it's right up to here in the actual um, tube itself. And it gives um, a lot of support as I get a bit of a square edge hit here, so as I don't um, pinch flat or damage the actual rim itself. Uh, the other real big benefit of it is when I did run com almost completely flat, um, it still gave some internal tyre support, allowing me to run on a near flat tyre. So uh, that was a great benefit today because a couple of times there I didn't want to stop uh, until we got to a trailhead. Um, so that was a, a, big, um, a big plus. And it, it didn't burp the rim as well too, which was another big bonus. But you can see here, I put about 50 PSI in this um, probably about 20 minutes ago and she's gone and you can actually see it. Um, yeah, there it is bubbling out there. So we've, we've not been able to stop that. It hasn't mattered what we've done. We've, um, we've put on some um, extra rubber washers. We've, we've tried most things. It, it's, it's almost like it's too small for the, um, uh, the tube hole itself. So uh, they'll be coming out and a set of uh, yeah, good high quality ones um, will be going in. Um, so again, the, the hoops themselves um, are from Kovas uh, Bike Store. Uh, as we can see here, I've forgotten exactly which ones they are, but I will put all the specs um, below. But these are uh, um, a bladed aero spoke. Um, we've just got um, uh, alloy nipples. Try and get a good focus on those. So they're just a, a red anodized uh, alloy nipple. Could have gone brass. Uh, could have got even a, a better spoke. Um, uh, but all I was really honestly saving was weight. And to be brutally honest saving grams um, it's it, sometimes you'll spend a lot more money chasing weight than it's actually truly worth when look you could uh, you know go on a diet for a week and um, save more um, but overall again yeah really impressed with the quality I will do more updates on these particular rims um, but uh, first ride experience when I had air in the tires um, you can see they're quite flat now uh, so right now I'm pushing on the core inside so I've hit the core so it's open here and now I'm touching the core that's actually inside it. Because I've touched it there, it's actually now formed out on the outside. So if I get a square edge hit all the way down, I can't actually push this all the way down. That's it. I can't get any lower than that uh, because that's been taken up now by the uh, closed cell foam that's uh, actually inside this uh, tyre. Uh, I think that, that uh, completes it for this stage. Um, if you've got any uh, questions... Um, please put them in the uh, comments uh, below and I'll do my best to uh, answer them uh, as, as quickly as I, I possibly can. So uh, look, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe. Talk to you soon.
uh, just tacking this on the end because I've pulled them out of my arm um, bag. Uh, but this is what I run on all my other uh, wheel sets, which is the uh, Cafe Latex tubeless um, uh, valves. They sit in the, um, you can see here at the bottom, they have a, a more rectangular uh, base to them. Uh, so they lock and sit into the valley of the, um, the actual wheel itself and lock in there uh, much, much better. Uh, if we have a little look at the top, you can see that uh, the um, locking nuts and all at the top are uh, far more beefier. Uh, this, is, this is a quality valve set, um, set and uh, yeah, I'll definitely be getting those, um, just those, those cheap Chinese ones that you see all over AliExpress and that, um, out, of the, uh, out of those tyres and, and put these in there and I think we'll have um, a lot better result from these. So uh, again, uh, thank you for watching and uh, uh, comments and questions uh, below.